I'm not sure what his long range weapon was, but he should have been watching that angle. Oh, he got it out. All right, ladies and gentlemen, today's gameplay is spectating some random duos going over a lot of, a lot of shit. And here we are spectating uh, Bear and his boys smooth now. Looks like they're going for a scavenger. Pretty self-explanatory on that one. We have no money. What are the odds of that? A little too early to heart beat them, to be honest, especially with the sound of the crates. It's kind of a dead giveaway that there might not be anybody there. And the only reason I really mention that is, again, wasting time. You want to kind of get with your teammate, get shit done together, loot together, play together. That way you can get your loadout together and not die separated. That, that, I was trying to make a rhyme and it didn't work out. All right, let's go back to Bear, see what he's doing. Rocking a riot shield, spinning in circles. There we go. Again, guys, light a fire under your ass. Come on, man, look. I get it, the game's stressful. I understand that you wanna have some fun, but I promise you right now, you will have more fun playing this game if you go out there, get your shit and fight. I promise you. This right here is no reason for this shit. Look what it's done for us, nothing. Now we're gonna peek with our riot shield, see what's going on. But again, we have scavengers available. I think I'd be more worried about that. They're on the rooftop. They're not an immediate threat. We don't really have anything on us. This is gonna end real badly. He's shooting at somebody else. You can look at the mini map right now. You see the ping, he's above us. Clearly it's the same guy shooting another enemy down to the north. But still here we are challenging. And the problem with us sitting here is the enemy's teammate could flank us. They could essentially pinch us. One could come up the back inside and hit us from the doors while the other one jumps down, hits the escalators and again, pinches us. Do not overstay your welcome, and we are overstaying big time. It always depends if the enemies are aggressive or not, but this will never be the play. Another helicopter coming in right now. Another third-party opportunity, possibly. Maybe it's the teammates. Maybe it's the enemy's teammate. Who knows? There it is. Third party. Let's go ahead and push up the stairs, see if we get some kills going on. We got the PPSH. Now, it's a little bit of a distance to cover in this wide-ass open area. This server's super laggy. Enemy team reading it really well. Luckily, we have a riot shield, and he's able to go out there and get... The knock. There we go. Enemy jumping out your left hand side. Third party. We're being third party now, brother. Well, there you have it. It's easy to them. Oh, we're gonna spectate their gulag. Damn it. The worst part about spectating randoms, and one of the reasons why I try not to do it anymore, um, not just the bad gameplay and the and the body things that they do, is the fact that when they die, I want to spectate the people that kill them. I don't want to spectate in the gulag. Here we are ADSing. Sun going out left-hand side. We see the enemy should be able to lead him perfectly, but we're going to sit here back away, give the enemy a great angle on us. Not good, but we're able to get the kill. Hey! Oh, no. Smooth, don't know. Smooth. Smooth. Let's let's talk real quick, bro. We, we've all seen you shoot. We've all seen your strategy. Do not, you do not have the right to shoot anybody's body right now. What do we do? Well, we got a minute and a half left, or we got two minutes left on the scav, but it looks like we're gonna float away, cause fuck it. For those of you that do not know, the scavenger, when you pick up and open the boxes, it gives you shit, right? It gives you money, satchels, guns, they're really cool. I didn't think I had to talk about that 18, 19, 20 months after Warzone was released, but apparently we do. It's always amazing to me, like, the amount of randoms we spectate this deep into Warzone's release. And they still play like this. And I'm not being a hater. I'm not. I'm just being a very harsh critic, because... No. Absolutely not. Enemy sitting on top of bank. No surprise there. Go ahead and bail away. Not against it at all. Now, the problem with what we're doing right now is we're... We died to the team over here, and they may still be here, and it looks like they are, right? Why would we come over here in a vehicle? Why not just land here? We've alerted the enemies to our presence by driving a fucking vehicle over here. And again, why not land there? Now, a lot of you might be like, Savage, he want to land there because he want to die. The guys that killed him, I kill him again. You gotta be fast. Big dick energy, boys, come on. So right now his teammate is pinging this one. It's gonna be dangerous. We know there's an enemy here, we know there's an enemy here. Um, I probably wouldn't go there. We have a we have a PPSH and that's it. Um, I don't like that at all. And we just bought Bear back. And he's going to die. Now Bear has no idea what's about to happen to him. He should have told Bear, "Hey, bro, don't do it. There's people over there." But it doesn't matter. He's about to die anyway. 
Now, regardless if it's a 1v1 or a 2v1 in this situation, the enemy should have pushed a lot faster than that because he had us, he had us damn near broken. When you guys are challenging an enemy and it's an equal position, meaning you're both on the same level, you both have equal amount of cover, no one's really favored in the fight, and you have the enemy broken, you need to push and finish the fight. You need to. Now, don't go out there and get all crazy because it might be a 1v2, but I only heard one set of footsteps. He could have probably challenged it safely because of the amount of cover around us. That's what he should have done. All right, hopefully we'll make the same mistake, but it does look like he's going to go back that way. Maybe not. We'll see. We'll see. It's a little hesitant. Loadout drop over there. So right now, I would just give this whole fucking situation up. Just bail out. Yeah, get out of there, dude. Not to mention, we have supply run we could do, which is exactly what I would have done a long time ago. Um, but we do have that option over here. We have a helicopter we could swipe. But again, it's a 1v2 situation. We are outgunned, outnumbered, outmoneyed. Um, or outmonetized, I guess is the correct word. Um, so I really wouldn't go around this area either. Watch for the choppers. Watch for vehicles that aren't supposed to be there and kind of navigate around them. Now, I'm not telling you guys to avoid fighting, but this just isn't a good play. It's isn't good at all. It looks like he's going to want to challenge these guys. And you know what? If you want to go in for 1v2, get it done. Oh, God. We need to kind of stay stealthy. We need to kind of stay hidden. I don't like that we're sitting here ADSing on the enemy. We're not going to shoot because there's so much cover around. Let's just navigate. Let's bounce from the... Let's bounce from the rock to the vehicle to the center blocks to the rock to the vehicle and just so on and so forth. Hit the enemies by surprise. And here we are, crash walking. There he is. Too late. Surprise is ruined. He's going to see. He didn't see us. Oh. No cover and we end up dying. Now, again, let's talk about that fight for a second. Again, exactly what I was saying. He should have just navigated to the enemy. He should have just whipped out his SMG. And while the enemies were distracted with whatever the hell they were doing, he should have been bouncing from cover to cover to cover to cover, concealing his position, getting closer to the enemy. And then fighting the enemies when he has the drop on him. The fact he was running with the LMG, he was kind of hesitant, wasn't really confident with his movement. He had the right idea, but he wasn't confident how to execute it properly, and he failed to do so. Also, when he did finally see the enemy, he got scared, started shooting at him out in the open. Bad play. Instantly dive back to cover. Try your best to use the cover to your advantage. Get the shots off of the enemy and get the win. Again, this whole fight took way too long in general. I would have closed the gap and started fighting the enemies twice as fast speed momentum is crucial when it comes to brs there's a reason why dr disrespect is always like speed violence momentum because that's kind of the motto with brs that's how you need to play you can have fun playing slow you can get a lot of wins playing passive and that's fine but if you guys are in the business of becoming a better player stop worrying about stats stop worrying about wins well worry about wins too but start getting out there and try to fight all right, but here we are moving on to lord j dizzle and his squad mate okay thursday that's it they're easy name to remember right there. Oh, um, and we're locked the doors. All right. There's the, someone right now in the comment section. Tell me a reason why people would do this. Like a smart reason, not like they're bots, right? Like, is there any logic behind this play at all? Because maybe there, maybe in their head there is. I can't physically think of that. So please enlighten me. When I think about strategy, absolutely not. We're dead center of the circle. We're not gatekeeping anybody. We're not out positioning anybody. It's a bad position because we're kind of blinding ourselves to one direction out those windows right two we're not getting out there and practicing our gunplay we're not fighting we're not bringing up our kill count right we're not getting money we're not getting you as which we could get because we have 11 grand almost or almost 12 grand oh we're just gonna take a beautiful 762 to the face at least he went ahead and pinged i probably just would have pulled up my map and pinged it he risked getting shot oh yeah here he is lord jade is about to have the same fate watch this oh damn it and again, here we are. Just He's level 157. Now look, again, that was weird. A lot of people are like, Savage! Stop being so mean! Not everybody has all the time in the world to play the game! I get it, but you're level 157, fam. You're twice the level I am. Granted, I've been away for a bit, but shit, you should have a little bit more animosity when it comes to playing the damn game. You can see the enemies out here. It looks like they're gonna slowly start pushing us, which is exactly what they need to be doing. The moment they got the pick, they should have pushed. We're heart beating the complete opposite direction to where the enemies are about to push us from, right? All right, we hear footsteps. We're gonna go ahead and precision ourselves. We're probably gonna die to our own precision. I would bet money. Oh, Thursday. Oh, Thursday. Okay, okay. All right, now these are the guys that spent their whole time basically sniping back and forth right they got the pick that didn't push they got the pick that didn't push they broke the place that didn't push now here we are spectating steve harvey the goat my fucking dude 
Guys above us. He's right to the left hand side. You hear the footsteps? There it is. An RPG Betty coming back in. Ooh, yo, I don't know what happened with these RPGs lately. Of this poor bastard's rocking RPG loadout. Doesn't matter. You're dead. But the RPG guy's still alive. Play yourself. Thursday's still lurking. Thursday is still lurking, sir. I don't like it at all. He goes ahead and get the res off. He's watching the doorway. It's maybe a good play because he'll probably run right in. Enemies above us, the RPG. We can't push him. We're in, oh, we stopped watching the door. Why, bruh? Doesn't matter. Get the get go, go, get out of there. He's got an RPG. Oh, damn it. Back to fucking Thursday. No. Oh, you hate to see it. I was really banking on the fact they'd be able to win that gunfight. But honestly, if Thursday's able to kill you, I, I don't really know if I want to spectate you anyway. But right now, we got Sniper Glintz going off to the 23. We're going to grab our loadout. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. RPG. God, dude. Can I mean, dude, bro, what are you doing? Yeah, duh. <laughs> duh. Um, also, can someone in the comment section let me know? Did they buff the RPGs? Why is everyone rocking RPG loadouts right now? I died to an RPG in Rebirth today at least 15 times. I'm not even kidding. I'm not even kidding. There, I walked in one building. This is completely unrelated, but what else are we going to do besides bullshit? But I, I walked into a room in Rebirth, you know, right there under the showers. I walked I walked into the showers area. Um, and you know how they have that little room by showers that leads to the outside? There was one guy camping in one corner, another one camping in one, another one camping in one, and they all had RPGs. I busted that bitch. I was able to get it down, but I busted that bitch feeling myself, dude, and I got fucking massacred, bro. Massacred! It was, it was no bueno. Now, I'm not sure. Dude, Thursday, bro. Well, we still have these snipers over here, too, and these guys just don't know what they're doing. Also getting out there like you see right now, we were way behind the enemy when we shot that sniper rifle. And again, if you get out there in your fight, your aim will get better because why? Because you're practicing. Fucking weird how that works. You guys are running around, you're gonna run into more enemies than you would if you were just camping a building like these guys had been. The guy's right there, bro. You're staring right at him. <laughs> homie, 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 homie. No. Oh, you hate to see it. First off, he should have instantly beamed that guy on the rooftop. That way, he never would have been put in that position. Secondly, he should have known damn well the second team was going to wrap around and get a different angle on you. That's exactly what he did. And now here we have a 2v1 situation. The enemy's above us. And we and if I was Thursday, I'd go ahead and try to crouch walk up there. You don't want to sprint. I'm not a fan of crouch walking. This is one of those situations where you don't want to be heard. Crouch walk up there. Try to listen for the enemy. Hopefully, go up the right side and try your best to fight it out. Or... Bail out all together, go get money, and get your squad mate back. Either or, there's a way to do this that's better than what we're doing now. It looks like we're going to make a run for it, possibly, and we are. Now, the enemies are probably scanning the rooftop looking for you. We didn't even peek. Oh, God. Not really too sure of the play right here. Nobody's in here. We've already heartbeated it. We're good. He's going to close this door too. All right. I really feel like the average skill base should be higher than what it is. I feel like since the game's been out for so long, a lot of players should be playing a lot better than what they have been. But again, because they just keep doing the same thing over and over and over again, they're just going to fall into this forever loop of doing the same shit. Change it up. If you guys are trying something, it's not working. Change it. You'll be, you'll be amazed what you can accomplish if you just... Get out of the bad habits. Now, I'm not sure what his long-range weapon is. He leaves cover completely. Oh, my God. I'm not sure what his long-range weapon was. But he should have been watching that angle. Oh, he got it out. <laughs> well, then... <laughs> I'll shut the fuck up. Teach me something Thursday. <laughs> I mean. All right. RPGs. Next meta. Sick. It's like when I left, everything seemed all right in the world in the war zone. I come back and it's just an RPG fest. It's crazy. It's crazy. But what I was saying is if he didn't have an RPG, he had a long range rifle. He should have just played that corner. Even with the PPSH. He should have just played the corner. That way when he got shot, he could just sidestep. 
The fact that he just said fucking ego challenge, jumped out there like he's Rambo, trying to fucking move like Joe Woe and hitting the enemies. Granted, he broke both their plates, but it's a 2v1 situation. You're going to get dolly whopped every time. I am very surprised they didn't go for the execution, though. He went for the res, which is probably the better play, but it ended up costing them the long run. I still do like the play they did, but unfortunate for them. I hate you, Thursday. I really do. I hate you with everything inside of me. I don't know if you guys remember year one. I think it was season three, season four, maybe. It's one of those bad seasons. The RPG meta was strong, son. So strong. RPG C4. It was basically explosive city. Game was very slow. Game was very campy. We were all almost afraid to go inside buildings. We were afraid to really do anything. Now look at this. He's holding his heartbeat out to the gas. He was angled this way. Holding the heartbeat out. To nothing no one's that way son let's start scanning other shit the teammates get shot by somebody let's jump outside we have a whole wall we could utilize to just open our eyes and look that's what we should be doing this is a terrain based ending there's probably going to be a team there you definitely have a team there so it's pretty much a given what i would do with this position is start focusing on position weird also because we're not even looking we're waiting for gas to push us out we run a huge risk Huge risk of getting caught out in the open. We have no idea where the enemies are. We know one's over here because he's shooting. But Savage, how are we supposed to know where the enemies are at? Open your eyes, man. Look around. We we had a wall. Again, we said a look. He decided to drop his plays, decided to do some 360s and just run straight. He never looked. Ever. Now it's 2v1. Pretty self-explanatory right here. And there is the hit. Beautiful season plating. And he gets the win. Nine kills and 14 kills. Good, good game by them. Unfortunately, we weren't able to spectate them. We had to spectate Thursday. But look, hey, at least he gave us some time to catch up and bullshit mid-match, right? But again, guys, if y'all want to see me on stream and kind of just bullshit and talk to me in real time, come on over, man. I would love to beat a lot of you guys. Follow me over on Twitch. I'm also going to be posting some Rebirth Island exclusive videos every day over on facebook links to those will be in the description below but guys again hope you enjoyed the video if you did leave a like subscribe to the channel today but until next time you have a good one and good luck in warzone